In today's Clash Royale video, we will talk about a Clash Royale world record, which I just broke in one of my live streams today. And today, I'm going to talk about you like a top 10 best decks in Clash Royale, and also talk to you how I broke this Clash Royale world record. And I think that's what nobody did before me. If you guys don't want to miss any type of content just like it in the future, make sure to subscribe. Also, make sure you give fat thumbs up on this video since I put a ton of effort in this video and just like the content in general. Also, make sure to use Creator Good Mode in the show. But I would say it's Dari Jump Me today, and let's talk about the world record and also the things I just broke in Clash Royale. So it's pretty easy to explain. I just did a stream together with Call the Legend. I had to win with 10 different decks the grand challenge. So it was like pretty simple, right? I had to win like a grand challenge, like 12 wins with this deck. Then we continue like that and I had to do that. Um, of 10 different archetypes so it wasn't like just like playing a lava on deck and then just like sub out one card or play a golem deck sub out one card using like 10 different minor control decks no 10 different archetypes and i got this 12 wins 10 times in a uh, not in a row but 10 times in general with 10 different archetypes in almost 12 hours like I think it even less, like 11 hours 50, I got this. And as you guys can see, this is like kind of the one I had. So I started here like with 12, 12, oh, 9, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 8, 11, 12, 11, a, uh, 1, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12. And today we're going over the decks I used in this like kind of competition. Also, for me, currently the top 10 best decks to use for the Grand Challenge. So if you guys want to grind some cards, you want to get bad on Clash Royale, and you want to have some success, these are the decks you want to play. The first one is this Royal Hawks deck. I just feel like it's really classic one so also decks which i really like to play there's no expo included these are all of the easiest decks since i already knew like when i go in, like into the ninth the tenth the eleventh hours for sure i'm not really focused anymore so this is the number one deck which i want to show to you guys this is pretty pretty solid a really solid deck of the royal hawks the earthquake a really cheap cycle deck number two minor wall breaker actually got 12 and um Oh, with this deck, with this deck, I think I went 12 and 2. So I had a bit of grind more. But this deck is so, so solid. You guys saw the way in later this video. If you guys didn't check it out yet, make sure to check it out. Um, yeah, on my channel, really, really cool video. Got like 12 and oh, with this deck, I almost pushed the number one in the world yesterday. Deck number three, classic lock, but I think I was struggling a bit with that. I think I got like eight wins in the first one. I was like eight and oh, and completely joked this challenge. Classic lock bait. I don't really like to play it. I don't know why it doesn't really fit my playstyle right now. Even I was like the lock bit good back then. Um, with this deck at least, um, doesn't really like know how to play. Maybe a bit washed, maybe I had to get back used to it. But I was kind of struggling since I feel like Golden Knight, Tornado, Magic, Archnado can be a bit hard. But this deck, if you're like looking for a bait deck, I guess at least for me, it's the most solid one to use. Deck number three is going to be this golden deck. No, deck number four, I apologize. Deck number four is this golden deck. We subbed in the Skelly Dragon since I feel like right now in the bar part matter. Uh, it just way, way better. Also, now which like baiting out like a fireball log, at example, and then the Skelly Dragons get way more volume than the Barrel Dragon does. Also, DPS sometimes really helps. We got a Skelly King. We got the Night Witch here. Um, if you guys don't have the Skelly King in this deck, you can for sure use also um, the Dark Prince in the first deck. If you guys don't have the Archer King, use the Musketeer. Also works pretty well. And this deck, use the Valkyrie. But in this deck, Dark Prince does pretty well. We got the Skelly Dragons, we got a Night Bridge, we got a Lightning Rod, Tornado, Golem. Really simple deck. Like Ruben was actually top 10 in the world yesterday with it. Deck number 5, Royal Giant Classic without champions. For me, at least, if we talk about solid decks, if we talk about the win condition you want to upgrade, which you're like pretty sure about, it's not going to get nerfed anytime soon. This is the Clash Royale deck you want to play. You want to upgrade it so, so, so. We don't have a champion yet. Sometimes you have the Arch Queen, sometimes you have the Mighty Mine, and sometimes you have the Skelly King. But if you're like looking for a really strong deck, which you can always use in every single matter, this RG deck, where we cheap side with the Skulls, with the Lactus, but we got the Hunter in it. So an overall really, really solid deck and a deck which I can recommend everyone. Deck number six is going to be playing minor warbreaker like goblin drill warbreak goblin drill is our main record i was thinking about goblin drill since there are a ton of different variations if you think about goblin drill right goblin drill is in the deck and you could think okay goblin drill bridge spam goblin drill executioner goblin drill um something else like there's a ton of goblin drill decks right now as also in this variation we could have like the skelly army we could have the fire spirit but this is the deck i want to play and i just think it was so so solid we got a goblin game plus skelly king which is like absolutely applying a ton of pressure dark goblin plus drill warbreaker plus drill inferno on defense fireball lock cleans everything up Um, yeah back then it was a fire spirit deck where i just feel like lock is way way more solid since um like i just feel like there's a ton of bait right now also with the goblin game buff so really really solid um yeah solid thing i would say and I guess we're going now to deck 
number seven. Okay, deck number seven is this Lava Mai deck. So I was thinking about the most sought Lava on deck since it was like a wind condition I also wanted to use. And I wasn't sure. Also, Hawk isn't included. If you're like looking for a good Hawk Rider deck, I would just use the Hawk Bomb Terror deck um, or like the Hawk Giant Skelly deck with the Bomb Turns of the Cannon. I just think it's way, way, way better right now with the Bomb Turns of the Cannon. But you can also use the Cannon since I feel like in the Warlocks deck, Cannon plus Archer Queen is pretty helpful in this. But you can also use Bomb Turn both of them. But it was really similar to the Warlocks deck. So I just want to use one of the EQ side decks to be fair so we got a mighty minor nerf so i wasn't really sure how good the classic lava loon deck is also i think i just like this place demo it's a more of a control deck it's not like a beatdown deck even if you have lava and like a ton of four leagues of cards it's more likely you just want to control the game you want to get some trip damage with lava get the arrows down get the fireball blade down with the flying machine and the skating so really really good deck you got the tombstone defense which kind of sucks off like all the skeletons for the skelly king so really great deck also deck which is not easy to play you could think about lava and being one of the easier deck this deck is a bit tougher so if you're like looking for an easier lava deck you want to you want to use the lava hound deck um in clash royale with the mighty mine because of the mighty miner there you want to use lava loon the deck from call with the bars instead of the mighty miner tombstone fireball zap mega mini scary drinks and if you guys don't have the skelly king unlocking this deck you want to really want to really want to use the guards and this type of variation you can also use the valk valk plus goblin gang actually a really really good push deck number eight is this golden knight e giant deck this deck actually got 11 wins first with a really really not great deck in the matter but if you're like looking for an e giant deck this is the deck you want to play if you guys have the golden knight you start with instead but yeah just like to have a cheap cycle since i feel like it's pretty helpful since sometimes you need to get like a ton of golden knights down with your tornado or also, how I won a ton of games is just straight up lightning cycling my tower. Just want to go lightning, 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 lightning. This is how I win a ton of games. So this is deck number eight. And deck number nine is a deck which I love to see, love to play. Um, you can also sub in the gap goblin game for the skeletons, archer, uh, magic archer for the archer queen. But it was just like, I want to use a cheap giant cycle deck. And this is by far for me the best giant deck right now. If you guys want to use a different giant deck, Giant Graven is always there. Giant Devil Prince of the Light was at Fireball Zap. Miner Megami is always there. There are a ton of different decks which are always in the meta. But if you're looking for some spice up, you want to use this deck. And as I said, if you guys don't have the Arch King, you want to use the, Mart, uh, the Musketeer. Uh, but most likely, or like in the best of situations, you want to use the Magic Arch. This deck really solid deck. And I would say right now, for me at least, the top three most funny decks are playing Clash Well, So you should give it a try, especially if you're feeling like right now, I don't have a ton of fun playing Clash Royale, which is understandable. Deck number 10 is a deck which came new into Clash Royale in the last couple of um, weeks, hours, days, which is like interesting. I actually faced Room using this deck yesterday, and it's a really, really cool deck, right? We got Dark Prince plus Valkyrie against all the Goblin uh, gangs, against all the Royal Hawks, against all the Goblin duels. It's just so, 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 so much bait. You love to see it. Also, that's a kind of like the difference right now between having like the Goblin Gang in the meta and also have a ton of spam, Mega Knight spam, which I also showed this in Fan Tower Jewel spam deck. So instead of having like Poison Bar, but we have the Arrows plus Snowball. Why is Arrows Snowball so, so good? Since it's not like, just not like really good against Spade, it's also kills troops like Mother Witch, Magic Archer. So just having that also like against Skate Ranks kills it so it's not just like good against bait it's also killing up different tubes so instead of having like a poison plus a bamboo you just have like one really like good spell on offense against the bait troops you have like spawn uh, two bait troops which for sure alone doesn't really do too much against heavy troops but together we really like killing almost all the troops which like poison is also killing so we got also this episode lightning bait so if your opponent is like lightning gets a ton of like on top of the valkyrie archer queen and so on. So you really want to have like the Zeppies also in deck. If your opponent has lightning, Arch Queen dies. Put on the queen! You get a ton of Lord of Zeppies. If your opponent has fireball, you get a ton of Lord of Arch Queen. Fisherman just to pull into things in the middle. So it's a way more offensive Gravier deck, which you can do way more with. Um, since you also have like the fisherman and defense you don't have a building in your deck but this deck is absolutely crazy and as you guys can see i was absolutely dominating the grand challenges got so many 12 wins 10 12 wins and 12 hours which is a pretty solid thing to be fair i was grinding a lot and as you guys can see also i'm currently i just want a ton of grand challenge cards right i think i want yeah what almost 1.5 million today i'm not i'm not able to give you some gameplay since i'm also recording this video right now at 3 a.m so i just want to kind of show over that I want to give you this kind of content i want to show you like 10 really really great decks which you can use in the grand challenge i just want to show like my um thing i got on the live stream there on twitch twitch.tv slash modern rel by the way where i got this kind of world record i don't know if anyone did it before let me know if you guys also try it out um 
just a really great achievement. I was streaming for 12 hours, so this is what I'm recording afterwards. So I'm not really, I'm a bit tired. I'm a really, really dead 3 a.m. right now in Germany. But I still hope you guys enjoyed this video. I still hope I could help you a bit. Now I hope you have a ton of success soon in the grand challenge with that. And if you guys don't want to miss any videos in the future, like that, make sure to subscribe. Make sure to let me know also via these in the, in the future. Like, what do you guys want to see? The best deck for the grand challenge is like me, like showing how to win your first grand challenge decks from Arena 13, 14, or something else. All the information or like all the things you want to see on this channel. Let me know in the comment section if you guys see a great comment, like it up because if you like this comment up, it will be on top of the comment section. I can easy uh, read it easier. I would say I'm out. Thanks for watching and subscribe. Goodbye, guys. I hope, I hope also you have an awesome rest of your day.